This place is pretty big. Render House, 1830. That's awesome. This place is big. <laughs> and full of children. <laughs> Show me the place. Okay. This is amazing. So, so this is the formal sitting room. Very formal. So originally this house was built in 1832 and it was an I formation. It was later added on to, to what it is now. Bath. Oh yeah. Is this original wallpaper? No, okay. Oh, now I put that up, I put that up. It looks great. Fits the vibe. <laughs> Who is that dapper gentleman? Is that Gone with the Wind guy? Yeah, Rhett Butler. Rhett Butler. <laughs> Ooh, wonder what's up there. You never know. <laughs> it actually wasn't built for people as tall as you are. It didn't have a lot of tall folks back then. Dude, this mirror is dope. Wow, look at that. This is the original, isn't her? That's awesome. Does it have secret back doors in it? <laughs> it does have like some kind of weird chamber. It has some pulley system. You have to like look up at top. Yes. And down. It has some like pulley system on there. Huh. And I can't figure out what it's exactly used for. They used to put their shoes underneath. That's so cool. It says something to conceal. Does it talk about the hidden chamber or is that unrelated material? Um, it really just talks about wardrobe, holidays. People will take them and like repurpose them. It has to be like some kind of secret compartment. They boarded up all of the fireplaces. Is that just to keep bears from coming down the chimneys? Yes. Now that you mention it. Original glass. Yes, you can walk it back in. Back when the houses were originally made, right. they had to take the slope. Did they make it slope just so that it wouldn't collect moist water? Okay. Look at these beautiful Corinthian columns. Stone? What is this made of? Wood. That's wood? God, it feels so dense. Yeah. You got the bench seat. You wanna come lock the door? <laughs> <laughs> She's got the key. The magic key. Is it this way? That's it. You locked it. The windows are all original. Oh, they've got rope. Yes. So. Wow. Check out the wallpaper. What's in here? Is this a master ba master bath? Not a master bath. No. Just a bath. So originally, it, the I formation were these two rooms and this bathroom. These two bedrooms were then added at a later date. You can also tell when they added plumbing in the early 1900s, they had to cut out part of the rooms. That's why you have these weird tunnels is because like this is the bathroom for in here, and this is the bathroom for this room. Weird. And then they cut that back part to be the bathroom for that room. So they had these big, huge rooms, and then they had to like, cut portions of them out and reassemble them so that they worked <laughs> yeah the plumbing downstairs where the kitchen is it wraps around and it used to be a porch and so when they did indoor plumbing and electricity they ran it up the back of the original house then they built the porch around it that's why most of the bathrooms are like towards the back because that's how they ran the plumbing what year do they do that in 1906. This place was built in 1832. In the original house, it was just a three bedroom. It was these three bedrooms. So it wasn't a huge house, but it was made into a huge house. Correct. Interesting. Was it just like they bought it for the land? I'm going to swank this out now because it's my. James and Mary Ridner have like 2,000 acres. It was a farmhouse. As the generations got more prevalent, Right? Like the they name built their wealth render. over time. Right, because a governor of Georgia lived here and a Supreme Court Justice of Alabama was a render. So they got more predominant. Then they're like, we're going to show our wealth and build on and make the house more grandiose. And it's time to upgrade. Yes. Back then, if you had a two story home, you were rich. Yeah. Right? But it wasn't a plantation that you think about. Scarlett O'Hara, right? Mm -hmm. This like sprawling plantation. It was the two front rooms, back room, and the three bedrooms, and then the original kitchen was detached, and it's still out there. Is this the parlor? Do you care? 
You wanna eat something here? Look at this. Oh, lovely. I just took it all out. They took it all out. And then this is the kitchen that they added on, which was the wraparound porch. And then used to wrap around. And then this is the original cookhouse. This one right here with the tin roof. What's that little house back there? It's just like an in-law. In-law suite. I think it was a carriage house at one point. Little houses everywhere. This is the cookhouse. So this is the original cookhouse. And they had a double Whoa. chimney. Um, and then it still has, like, they used to catch up the holes. Wow. Look at this door. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's got old horse saddle. Old thing. Yeah. Dude, that is the jankiest window. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the house. I love old dusty stuff. Originally, how like the foundation was, they just put it on rock. <laughs> and then this is the original smoke house. Mm, where we smoke the meats. It's actually wood on the back, so I think it's just. This is where they put the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't even gotten to the haunted part yet. When the house was built, they built this for the children. This has been here as long as the main house is here. Kids, your mom and I need some alone time. Go outside. Oh, yeah. The chimney is actually fully functional. What? Make sure that if they had a play space, that it would be, you know. What? Oh my God, it's so tiny in here. This is a very tiny room for me. <laughs> If I stand up, this is where my head is on the ceiling. But not me. It's no. fully functioning it for me. Can. But you can also see, like, on these windows, you can tell that they're original because of all the bubbles and, like, imperfections right. in them. They don't make windows like that anymore. They had, you know, they had curtains and all kinds of other stuff. Aren't these horseshoes supposed to be turned the other way? Uh, Isn't that like that? Oh, I don't remember. Spider skin. <laughs> they even put wood floors in their tiny houses. Oh, is that what was on the window inside? I think that was on one of them. Oh yeah, you can see on that one how the other one was. Is that someone else's house or is that part of the... Someone lived there the house for worst. And so the owner bought the land and the house and used to just keep it up. Who has it now? Let's <laughs> see, so you've got two houses on... Is it still 2,000 acres or? No, it's like 85. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. This is so awesome. What even is this? <gasps> is that a whiskey distiller? So. Oh man, I need one of those. Or some kind of distiller. The faces on these lions is hilarious. Yeah, they painted them on. They used to be just like menacing. Oh, Menacing looking lions. Like, oh, we should paint. Them. Let's make them look friendlier. Make them. <laughs> so tell me about the ghost of Render House. <laughs> Do you like pears? Do I like pears? Uh -huh. so, I love pears. The first thing that happened in this house was well, the very first thing was Joanna and I were talking by the cotton wheel in the front of the house, and all of a sudden it started spinning and then we tried to spin it and it's hard to like you can't just spin it like you have to like tug at it and we we're like oh wow that's weird a week or two later one of these gold pears actually was sitting on this plate in the middle of the room over there and i've been the only one in the house so there, there were, there were no there. kids in the house um and then i started um Mom, what? How did it get there? We don't know. You're asking the key questions. How did it get there? That is what we I need. think uh, I came here and put it right 
An elf, yes. Well, I we're gonna go with elf. that. You think our elf? <laughs> our elf on the shelf? Probably. Miss we're gonna go elves. with that, okay? I'm gonna say that the way. Um, and then I would be the only one to be here, and then I would leave, and I would come back, and random lights would be on. Yeah. Then you get hyper vigilant. Like, Mom. I have to make sure all the lights are off, right? And then I would come back, and like four lights would be on. Dude, nope, something's yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah, you're like, <laughs> you're like, okay, I'm not crazy. Uh. Um, the uh, this place is just haunted, it is, but it's not like scary, it's just like stuff like I don't feel any like it's negative more, it's energy, more like a... <laughs> yeah, it's more of like mischievous, right? Um, I've never dusted this house, I've owned it a year and I've never dusted it. It's pretty good for not dusting, so free, free cleaning, free cleaning, which is a weird thing. Um, yeah, you can. This looks delicious, thank you. Birdie, Birdie <laughs> keeps them entertained. Apparently, hey! in, in Can't the trust late me with China. 1800s, Mama, um, there was a maid who had a tragic passing. So you're thinking with the dust-free environments, yes. the maid. And also, um, the gentleman who owned the house before, his daughter would not stay upstairs because she said in the middle of the night she could hear yelling. Jimmy was, um, he kind of like was the grounds tender. Um, he actually passed away two weeks ago. Yes. But um, he was the one that would tell me these stories because um, he was the groundskeeper for like 30 years. So he would also say like, he would be out in the field and he would, he would hear someone yelling Sarah like as plain as day and there's been a few sarah's and he was like what happened you know he didn't like to talk about it he never liked to talk about it um, i've noticed that people that like have what what sound like when they tell you about it like legitimate ghost stories like they usually don't yeah they're like no <laughs> it's like i really don't feel like having a bunch of people tell me i'm crazy i yes. know what i saw well so you know some people you either believe or you don't see i'm not really well, okay, so I've been mostly not a believer, but then recently I've had people close to me that, like, aren't, like, BS types of people that yeah. told me stuff, and I'm like, mm. The one that happened, like, the one I was like, okay, for real, um, the cookhouse that we went out to, right. there's a condenser, an air compressor in there. It's, like, right by the door. It's huge. Is it's it, like, like, plugged in and operational? Yes. Those are fun. Um, and it has a spring lever. So I was going over to the barn, and I was over at the barn for probably an hour, and I came back, and the door was open, and the compressor was on. And I was like, that's weird. There's no one here. I, like, looked around. That's see, weird. Like, did Jimmy Did Jimmy come? Is Jimmy, like, you pumping something up? Like, no one was here. The gate was still locked. And I was like, I bet something fell off the wall, because there's all these things. You know, there was the... Um, horseshoes and everything over there somewhere. I bet you something fell off the wall, hit the lever, because it's a spring lever, and it came on. So, turned it off, shut the door. I think, I think, um, I think Jimmy put that on the floor. Oh, you, Jimmy put it on the floor, probably. I love how you've taken this, like, blase attitude that you're this point where you're just like, yeah, crap happens here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and then that same thing happened three more times. If you're interested in spending a night at Render House or planning an event, you can go to renderhouseevents.com or click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.